Hey, Joe Dan, swing has kettlebell on strength. Marlon Bird, 14 years in the major leagues. What do you think about kettlebells, and what do you like about them? Oh, God, I love kettlebells. I've been doing them since uh, 2004. I uh, started RKC, hard style. Um, I transitioned into working with Steve Cotter and more of the competition style, or whatever style you want to call it, yep. more athletic style. Athletics. <laughs> um, and I love everything about it, um, the strength, uh, the power endurance, the strength endurance, mobility, the mobility, um, even the endurance training all around. So there's so many things that it, it, it can help with. Um, today, what we learned which was amazing. So we kind of met on Instagram. Actually, Steve gave me a call yes. and said, hey, man, I got a dude. Right, he's right, out there. Right, right before the season. With, with Cincinnati, and he's going to, you know, real close. So now it's last year or two years that ago? was last it's a while ago year. yeah it was um i sent that message i think it's february or march of this year okay. 2015. So. so we're in covington kentucky right across the river yes and um so i've always been trying to get more athletes into this type of training mm -hmm. um so what did i show you tonight that kind of was like whoa small moves uh really harped on the techniques um, work the, uh, the kettlebell jerk, uh, double kettlebell jerks. Just making it a little on, bit more fluid for you. A lot of fluid, worked on the snatch, uh, worked on the clean, um, clean before snatch. Uh, did a little maze work, but. What was the very first thing that we did? The first thing was, oh, work in a rack position. No, not first even kettlebells. Oh, oh, oh back, my gosh. Back, back. We, to go back, the first thing we did yep. was a balancing or act activating. Yep. Um, so we basically, we, we use the slack line. Yes. Not to walk on it, you know, like the slackers, but to use it as a tool to show some uh, basically more neuromuscular connection. Right. And to see, and what did you feel? Instability. Yeah. All around, just okay. shaking. Um, it's something you haven't done before. No, right? it's something I've never done. And it was a weird feeling. Again, all I can say is I felt instability and just trying to not even stand up on it, just to put my foot on it mm -hmm. and push down just a little bit and balance on the slack line. The first thing, I had this rotational move with my hips and it was tough to make it, to make, uh, to push down without my, my, my whole leg moving and actually shaking my So we have a body. couple videos of yes, that. We, have we can videos. make a little compilation. So after that, we kind of walked around and what did you feel from that type of connection like well, I, did, I did my left leg first and when I got up to walk my left leg number one felt stronger more stable but I was shifting to my right when I was walking so again stable on one side unstable on the other um, and feel like it flows a little it bit flowed, more? Flowed, I flowed great just on the left side but once I did the right side as well as far as walking everything I felt taller I felt taller again more stable hips knees everything and was able to walk a straight line but feeling upright mm -hmm. instead of kind of hunched over to the left or to the right. I love that thing. So anyway, we might show some of those videos and talk about it. But then kettlebell, we focus on a little bit more form, focus on timing. Yes. That's why I think kettlebells are very, very good for athletes or anyone, right. any, a human being. There's a lot more timing and uh, deceleration Yes. that uh, a lot of athletes get hurt when they are decelerating. Yes. Um, Rotational stuff. Um, we worked on anti-rotational anti -rotation, stuff. Anti-rotation, yes. Um, a lot of other things. So anyway, just like it was a, it was a pretty cool, you know, meet up and uh, happy to meet you, man. Appreciate and, uh, it. Appreciate it. We'll now to working again. on uh, this, the things that he taught me today. My next goal is working on level two. So next time I come in here, hopefully that's where I am, and uh, we'll continue a video another time. Cool. To see my awesome. Answer. All right. Thank you, sir.